Hey guys, let's get more news about Steelers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. NFL Insider Blasts Entitled Kenny Pickett Former Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback Kenny Pickett isn't the most praised player in the NFL these days. Really, since his trade to the Philadelphia Eagles, he's seen more criticism than compliments, and one NFL insider isn't holding back on his thoughts about the former first-round pick. Pickett's departure from the Steelers came with reports of him handling Russell Wilson's arrival poorly, ending with him requesting a trade. Pittsburgh listened, moving on from the former starter after just two seasons, sending him to Philly with a fourth-round pick in exchange for a third-round draft pick and two sixth-round picks in 2025. Pro Football Talk's Mike Florio joined Chris Sims to discuss the trade and let his thoughts be known about Pickett's attitude toward the situation. He had a sense, apparently, of entitlement, Florio said. And what has he done in 24 regular season starts? What has he done to make him entitled to anything? His draft status? Is it, and he must not know much about the NFL, cause your draft status doesn't mean Jack Diddley squat. What matters is what you do when you get a chance to play. And as we've been saying for months, and I feel bad saying this, but this is part of what we have to do. Guys play well, guys don't play well. There's been nothing he's done that has made anyone say, well, this guy could be special. He's done nothing to make anyone say, oh man, if he does that a few more times per game, he's a pro bowler, he's an all-star, they're a Super Bowl team. It's been in spite of him that they've been competitive, not because of him, and they've given him a fair chance. Pickett finished his career in Pittsburgh, going 14-10 with 13 touchdowns and 13 interceptions. The team quickly replaced him, trading with the Chicago Bears for Justin Fields. Meanwhile, Pickett becomes a backup to Jalen Hurts and continues to face criticism from analysts. Bears trade Justin Fields to Steelers, clear way to draft number one quarterback. The Chicago Bears' much-anticipated trade of Justin Fields at last came together, days after the initial wave of quarterback reshuffling played out across the NFL. The Bears agreed to a deal Saturday to send Fields to the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Steelers sent the Bears a conditional sixth-round draft pick in 2025, which could improve to a fourth-rounder, based on Fields's playing time in a move that provides clarity to both teams' rapidly changing quarterback situations. The teams announced the trade Saturday night, pending a physical, hours after it was confirmed by two people familiar with the discussions. We have engaged in multiple trade conversations in recent weeks and believe trading Justin at this time to Pittsburgh is what is best for both Justin and the Bears, Bears general manager Ryan Pohl said in a statement. Today we spoke to Justin to inform him of the trade and the rationale behind it for us as a club. The trade seemingly clears the way for the Bears to use the number one overall choice in next month's NFL draft on a quarterback, perhaps USC's Caleb Williams. The Bears were widely expected to decide between using the selection on Williams and trading Fields, or retaining Fields and trading the top draft pick to amass other choices to build around Fields. They opted to trade Fields, the former first-round selection who provided glimpses of potential stardom but failed to establish himself as an honest-to-goodness franchise quarterback in his three seasons in Chicago. Now he joins Russell Wilson in the quarterback mix in Pittsburgh. The Steelers signed Wilson, the nine-time Pro Bowl selection and Super Bowl winner for the Seattle Seahawks, to a one-year, $1.21 million deal after he was released by the Denver Broncos. The Steelers have performed a complete overhaul at quarterback. They parted ways with all three of the quarterbacks who started games for them last season by releasing Mitch Trubisky, losing Mason Rudolph to the Tennessee Titans in free agency and trading Kenny Pickett to the Philadelphia Eagles. Fields posted his farewell to the Bears on social media. Can't say thank you enough to the city of Chicago for taking me in and embracing me, Fields said. Thank you to the entire Bears organization and ownership for allowing me the opportunity to be part of such a historic franchise. But most of all, thank you to all my brothers that I played with. 
You all were the reason I attacked each day the way I did. I can't thank you all enough for what y'all have meant to me over the last three years through the ups and downs. I wish each one of you nothing but success. Ready for this next chapter. The Bears' decision, perhaps was not much of one at all. Williams, the former Washington, D.C., Gonzaga College High School standout who was a Heisman Trophy winner at USC, has drawn comparisons to Patrick Mahomes, the two-time league MVP and three-time Super Bowl winner for the Kansas City Chiefs. Williams's potential might be too great for the Bears to pass up, and they have fortified their roster to provide help for the prospective arrival of a prized rookie quarterback. They signed tailback DeAndre Swift in free agency. They traded for Los Angeles Chargers wide receiver Keenan Allen to pair him with DJ Moore. There is a long way to go for a team coming off a 7-10 season and without a playoff appearance since the 2020 season. But the Bears certainly are upgrading the roster. Business is business, Moore wrote Saturday on social media. The Bears have the number one pick thanks to last year's trade with Carolina that enabled the Panthers to move up in the draft and select quarterback Bryce Young first overall. The Bears also possess the number nine choice. Fields, 25, made 38 starts for the Bears after they selected him 11th overall out of Ohio State in the 2021 draft. Steelers set to meet with $60 million wide receiver. The Pittsburgh Steelers created one pretty big need for themselves this offseason. When they traded Deontay Johnson to the Carolina Panthers, they left themselves with George Pickens as the only proven receiver on the roster. They've since signed Van Jefferson to a one-year deal, but he's not going to be their answer to replace Johnson. To find that answer, it looks like the Steelers could look to a veteran receiver that was recently released. According to ESPN's Adam Schefter, the Steelers are set to meet with former Los Angeles Chargers wide receiver Mike Williams this week. Expectations were high for Williams as he entered the NFL. A pair of 1,000-yard seasons convinced the Chargers to make him the seventh overall pick in 2017. While he hasn't turned into the star he was expected to be, he has still been a solid piece for the Chargers' passing game over the past seven seasons. During his time with the Chargers, Williams has had at least 750 yards in four seasons and topped 1,000 twice. This past season, he was playing some of the best football of his career before an injury brought his year to an end. He had already racked up 19 catches for 249 yards and a touchdown before tearing his ACL in Week 3. Unfortunately, the Chargers' cap situation made it difficult for them to keep him around this offseason. With the team entering the offseason well over the cap and some huge contracts on their books, the team had some big decisions to make. Those decisions included Williams' three-year, $60 million contract. They ended up choosing to let Williams go in a move that saved them $20 million in cap space. Now that he has hit the open market, he's a receiver that is getting plenty of attention from teams around the league. The Steelers aren't the only team with interest in the former Chargers receiver. Schefter also reported that the Jets and Panthers have meetings set with Williams for this week. The Jets thought they got their WR2 last offseason when they signed Alan Lazard to a four-year, $44 million contract. That move didn't work out very well in 2023, and now they're back to looking or a receiver who can pair with Garrett Wilson to give Aaron Rodgers the weapons he needs for a Super Bowl run. The Panthers have already made their first big move at receiver with the trade for Johnson. Now they could look to add another strong receiving option after Bryce Young had little to work with in a disappointing rookie season. Schefter also mentioned the Chargers as potentially being interested in bringing Williams back after they traded Keenan Allen, leaving themselves very thin at receiver. There is also another team that has entered the mix as Tristan Kuhn reported that the Raiders have scheduled a visit with Williams. The Raiders are a bit of an odd fit with Devontae Adams and Jacoby Myers already on the roster, but could be looking to do everything they can to fix an offense that really struggled in 2023. Even with all of these teams in the mix, the Steelers could still make a strong case to land Williams. 
they just opened up more than $4 million in extra cap space by restructuring Dante Jackson's contract. They'll have plenty of available targets that can go Williams' way with Johnson no longer on the team. The Steelers can also offer Williams better QB play than the Raiders and Panthers now that they have Russell Wilson. There are limited options available on the receiver market right now, so there will be plenty of competition for any strong players at the position, but the Steelers should be doing whatever they can to make sure Wilson has the players around him that he needs to succeed in Pittsburgh. And you, fan, what do you think of the situation Mike Williams? Leave your opinion in the comments.